Turn around. No, I'm embarrassed. No, turn the other side. Come on. I'm embarrassed about it. Show them. You guys. Oh, I cut my hair. She couldn't take having a, what is this called? <laughs> it's a quick weave. She couldn't take handling, she couldn't handle a quick weave. It took, what was this, 48 hours? No, 72. 48 hours, just 72, like I predicted. 72 hours. And it's gone. <laughs> and I lost a piece of my hair. You guys, I just can't live like this. I'm just... Welcome to the vlog. Hello, you guys. Welcome. Oh, we already kind of did an intro. I was cutting out my hair. I feel so bad, you guys, because, listen, we knew this was going to happen. You and I, we knew this was going to happen, okay? I always do this. But I feel so bad because the girl who did my hair actually did a really, really great job. And I feel bad because, like, dang, she did I mean, I guess I paid her, so it doesn't matter. She did her work. She got her. She got her. Money. And I would totally go back to her. I just think my issue and what I realized this morning is I'm already just irritated being in my own body by myself with just my regular life right now. That having something that I have to wake up and like I have to do my hair, I have to, you know, all that stuff. And, and something else causing me any type of anxiety or discomfort is the last thing that I need right now. And... It was just stressing me. I was like having a breakdown this morning because I'm like, my, my, I'm getting OCD because my scalp is itchy and my scalp itching makes me feel like I'm dirty and I'm like getting freaked out about it. And Jay's like, it's not, that's not what it is. That's not what it is. And I'm like, no, no, but it's making me, can you not be on my butt crack? Because I need to, I'm gonna get in fight with the person behind us. Not going on here. <laughs> not going on here. I just don't like that you pulled so close up behind me and I'm like still trying to adjust and you just want to like still, whip yeah. up and then you're and mad then you at me. Like I can see behind me too. Right, I have a backup camera. I can see. I'm gonna have to get out of the car to pay for my thing, which is gonna irritate me. I'll get out the car here. No, it's okay. I can just reach it. No, 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 it's okay. I don't want you to get out the car. We are running um, some errands today. We need to get Jay a new retainer. Or what are we, we, we can't get the retainer today, right? No, I need to set an appointment to get the retainer, but I don't want to call them because, maybe I can't, let's see. Don't hold it like by the lid. It's gonna spill out. I wasn't holding it, I was just trying to move it, but you wasn't like, you weren't doing your part. You were focusing on the <laughs> you didn't Say anything. Girl, she's addicted. This guy's holding the lid of the, of the coffee like this. Oh, I wasn't doing that. Yeah. And, and I also, I wasn't having it like way up Replay here. the footage. Replay the footage. Replay the footage. I, I, get, I was holding it like that, but I had it like... Uh, you're not going to understand. <laughs> We're going to go actually, finally, finally, finally. I've said it in every single vlog, and it's been closed every single time. We're going to go to this place called Sugar Lump, which is a baby consignment. Close Tuesdays. Shut up. <laughs> Seriously? No, I see on that the it's open. On it's, ac it's actually closed every single day. We're gonna go do that, and I know Jay's probably hungry, but it's the place closes at five. Because I'm trying to fast. But... There's lots of good food over the there. Pizza? No, not, not pizza. What's that place called that we like with the with the, with the coconut milk with the with the golden milk? <gasps> Plum bistro. Could totally go to Plum Bistro. No, not Plum. Yeah. Way better than. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Flora, Cafe Flora. Cafe Flora. Totally go to Cafe Flora. I love that place. Or, yeah. With, That's fine. with a golden milk. You guys, golden milk, if you haven't had it before, hey, it's, it's like top tier. You think that's all gross? No, you said. Oh. I was talking. This guy said. Straight? What is that? Straight? That's my You know where else to go. Can you tell me like the direction ahead of time? Well, now? come back. I said go back the way you came. You're gonna drop all the way down the hill, okay? Okay. You see this jeep right here? Yeah. Just follow the jeep. But what happens? Okay, 0.4 miles. Turn left on First Avenue and then go on to North to Seattle. Like that's what I need. Okay, not just well, if like. You yelled, then I'm really not telling you. That. <laughs> oh, all right, you guys. We'll see you there. See ya. See ya. It is pouring down rain. If you wear a hood though, if you wear a hood or use an umbrella, then you're not actually from Seattle. And I need you to get away from me because you're not a real person. If you wear a hood, is it really good? He got this hoodie yesterday at Viore. We didn't um, vlog him getting it, I don't think, but he got this hoodie at Viore. But here's the place, you guys, it's called Sugar Lump. And it's a little consignment shop. So 
so here's where all the boy stuff starts. This is so cute. And it is $5.99. We have $75 to spend for free. You like that with the hood on it? I feel like we got this. Do we not buy this? In gray. Oh, it's baby gown. Cute. <laughs> okay, we're gonna look at- Oh, there's a red one. A Kerfus. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm willing him to come before Christmas. As you can tell, Jay's a sweater guy. <laughs> it's okay. He's gonna be that small. <laughs> I know. That's so cute, though. They have lots of Zara stuff here. These are so cute. Look at these little overalls. All right, Jay kept me from going overboard. We got our items. It was so clutch because for my birthday, I've been telling you guys this, but for my birthday, my stepmom gave me a gift certificate there for $75. And when you're at the thrift shop, $75 gets you a lot of good stuff. So I'm super, thank you. I'm super grateful for that and I've been, I forgot it last time we came, like a ding dong. <laughs> so I didn't get to use it on the first ever transaction that I did at that shop, but I was able to use it this time, which is good. <sighs> so anyway, I think we're gonna go to Cafe Flora, which is, is it, it's all vegan, right? No, vegetarian. Maybe. And you can do vegan options. Yeah. Um, Cafe Flora. This car, have you, did you notice the wrap on this car behind us? I seen it, I seen it. Isn't that I thought it was like silly? a business car, isn't it? Is it Sugar Lum's car? I don't know if it's Sugar Lum's car, but. It's super interesting. You need that car, though. The G-Wagon just parked on the street. My nanny family took us to Cafe Flora. We had never been. We had always, like, seen it, but I had had a bad experience, I think. Or a bad experience, I don't know. In, um, I can't even remember, like, because it couldn't have been that bad if now I love it, you know? Maybe I just got a wrong thing, or I don't know what. I didn't, th I didn't think it was going to be good this weekend. It, looked, it, does, it doesn't look good. Like, doesn't it doesn't look, look and sound appetizing, but we went I there. Feel like, oh, they're about to have food. Food is not going to be seasoned. It's going to be only salads. Essentially. <laughs> is what I thought. Um, but my Annie family took us there, and we ate the food, and we're like, wait a second. Wait. It's low-key fire. <laughs> it's delicious. And one thing about my, I've learned over time to just trust anything my nanny family says because they have literally never strayed me wrong. And even they can, they if, know how to eat. They know the one thing, I mean, they know how to do a lot of things, but one of the things that they know how to do real good in this life is Pick eat yourself. some food, eat some good food. They're not people who will settle for food that is not good. Number They'll one, good quality. Good. And number two, like flavorful. Like they don't play that kind of stuff. So. They don't play that kind of stuff at all. Is this where my dad used to work at? From one of these houses over here? I Probably. Think. I'm on that one. Seriously. I bet. I feel like this is a one way. No. My dad used to work in this house right here. On that one on the corner? Yep, right here. Right You're here. like getting flashbacks? All the time, yep. <laughs> By that little, and then the water right there. Mm -hmm. I'm literally getting, in this area, this is like the, kind of like the central district area. I it's very close. all the time with him when I was like young, young. Like, like little? 10, yeah. Oh. 11. Yeah. So then, you, yeah, you definitely remember where it is. Dude, this is absolutely where we were at. <laughs> yeah, like I'm getting flashbacks all over the world. I used to be over in the city all the time. Would my you dad. move there? For sure. How much do you think they cost? Absolutely, I would move. This is a nice area. I would move over here. And that one has a rooftop deck. They're, they probably are only two bedrooms. Though, I mean, they this look is small. a very busy street, but my letter drop because it's such a nice area. He worked on the mayor. He one of the mayor's is like one of his good friends. Bruce Harrell. That's one of my dad's good friends. Is I he guess. still the mayor? Bruce Harrell? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Once you're the mayor, you're the mayor until you like decide to not be the mayor. Really? Do you get voted in are you like elected into mayor mayoral status? Mayoral status? This here, right here. It says 2,000. Oh, 
His house is way. I bet he's the freaking mayor of Seattle. Way. Well, he played. He played football for you. I don't know if he played in the NFL, but I know he. He might have played in the NFL, but I know he for sure played in college. He was really good. And this house has like these spiral stairs, and like it's so. We used to be running all up and through that house. I've always wanted a spiral stair house staircase. Like maybe like to the basement or something, like yeah. a spiral. Uh, yes, man. If you see this house, you would say this is my dream. This and it overlooks the water. You say this house right here. <laughs> it's my dream house. And it's in like such a neighborhood, you know. And yeah. there's room to like there's a court out front. There's a backyard. There's like everything. And then it's just like there's a room stacked to, like, house. Play. It's like our house, but way, but like wider. Wider, but like stacked like that. There's a skinny and stacked. Yeah, our skinny stacked. There is like wide and stacked. It's like Stunning. so homey, dude. We used to be up in there just hide and go see all types of stuff. Watching movies, they have like a little theater area. That's like one non negotiable. I know this is like such a like bougie non negotiable, but if we're talking dream house, like if we're talking I won the lottery dream house, movie theater in the house immediately. Sure. Like that movie theater, pool, sauna are my non negotiables. <laughs> People get it during this time too. Yeah, I like so. It's not nervous. You have to. You have to be inclusive. What? Jay's Asian Bistro and Sushi. Oh wait, there's one over. There's another one over. Somewhere else where we go. There's you have to copy. All right. Bye, you guys. See you in a second. Flip. Back at you, Billy. Like we never left. Like you, Billy. Like we never left. <laughs> Okay, we're back here 
period, 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 get it, get it, get it, work, 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 work. <laughs> so beautiful. Like, are you kidding? Does this not just like put you in the Christmas spirit, you guys? Or the holiday spirit if you don't celebrate Christmas, but just this guy. <laughs> You gotta move slowly. Okay, here's the tea. Yesterday, Jay was keeping me out past my bedtime, shopping at Levi's. Doing what? Past your bedtime? Keeping me out. I thought you said something completely different. <laughs> Whoa! I was gonna say, okay, you cannot say that. Okay, dirty mind. Well, don't say it like that. It what do you mean? Don't say. Keeping me out doesn't <laughs> rhyme with something that sounds. Very don't say bad to stuff. Me. Just undirty your mind. How is that under your mind? Well, that's what you. That's what it sounded like you said. But I didn't say that. But so. it's. But but. But I didn't say that is the key part okay, that you're I, missing. All right. But the key part that but you're missing. But the key missing, part that you're not understanding right now is that it sounds like that. <laughs> so it's someone's nice behind me. Single file. I'm trying to get in there. Okay. Anyway, he was keeping me out past my bedtime, and I was grumpy in Levi's. And he ended up getting the wrong size in the pants because I was being grumpy. So, <laughs> I, literally, I literally said out loud, I want to go home. Wow. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys what I got at Sugar Lump just because we never ended up showing you our final pickups. So, let me do that really quickly. First things first, we got these little boots. These are so cute. They're just like little little tiny boots <laughs> they're so adorable i don't know what he would wear these for these are like not like really walking shoes they're like cutesy soft ones i don't know what he would wear those for but they're like literally untouched brand new then these are little um stride right shoes these are not going to fit him until he's like a big boy but they were like literally brand new in good condition and super cute can go with everything so we just ended up picking those up I got the little overalls that I showed you. How? Singing cute are those? You're joking, you're joking. You're joking. So adorable. We got that little hoodie we talked about. It has little ears on it. So cute. I'm pretty positive he has this exact same hoodie in like two other colors. I feel like I keep picking it up. Like we keep finding the same one at the consignment shops. Then we also got this little gray one. This one is from Zara. That one was from Baby Gap. Lots of really nice knit sweaters for him. We got this little Quincy May um, t-shirt. This brand is really, really nice. It's actually like pretty expensive. I, we have like a onesie from them and it was like $28 for the onesie. So this was $9 and it's in like amazing condition and it's so, so cute. It's the fact that they charge you $9 for like literally this material. Like this is no material at all. This is no material at all. This is no, <laughs> and they just charge you so much money for baby clothes. But anyway, whatever. And I also got the same, what brand is this? Yeah, another Quincy May set. So this is a little like wrap set and it comes with the little matching pants. These have like little footies on them. So cute. This is what size? Zero to three. Yeah, so cute. I keep, the lighting is off in here, but this is actually like a very like, Green. green sorry the lighting isn't here it's crazy and i look insane but you guys are seeing me look insane on um this vlog all of december because i don't have the time to put myself together your girl's too pregnant to be looking cute for the vlog sorry babe sorry 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 after i get this baby out i'll be back to looking cute but right now we don't have the time you're getting the reality okay <laughs> then we got this this has little fire trucks on it so cute but i love that it's like it's like white and navy blue. I don't know, it just gives cute. Classic, I feel like boy shirt, like the fire trucks, whatever on it, but I love it. If we ever have a baby girl, I'm telling you, she's gonna be wearing all of this stuff. I don't care. Cause I think this stuff is so cute. Even if you're a girl, all this stuff is so cute. Ugh. Anyway, I think, yeah, I think that's everything that we got that round. Jay was like, oh, save, um, save some of the money because it changes out. Like the things change out as new people like come and consign stuff, changes out. So we can always go back 
and find new stuff once he gets here and once he's a little bigger and when we're looking for more specific stuff, we can always go back. All right, I wanted to show you guys also what I got on Amazon too. I got this other little baby blanket. This is so cute, it's called Living Textile Chenille Blanket. It's really cute, it has, it's blue and it has little white, what are those? Clouds? <laughs> I don't know, little clouds on it. The lighting in here is just doing me so dirty, but whatever. So soft and so nice. I want a bigger version of that for our bed. And then I also bought these little packing cubes. Um, hospital bag, I wanted to get little packing cubes just so I can like differentiate and like easily find stuff and not have to like dig through a huge bag of just stuff everywhere. I can put Jay's stuff in one packing cube, my stuff in one packing cube, baby stuff in one, you know what I mean? Like I can separate it so we can just easily reach in there, grab it. I don't have time to be digging around. And also just for normal traveling, having packing cubes is clutch. So I got a pack of those. Um, I forgot to film an intro. Jay's editing today's, the vlogmas that will go up today. And I forgot to film an outro, but after we let, left Levi's, we got Jay another hoodie from Viore because the first one slapped. So we got a second one. Then we went home and I think like knocked out. Like I've been so tired lately, like my feet are really swollen tonight and just all the walking in out and about we've been doing, I just can't handle that. I cannot <laughs> handle that. Um, so we just literally went home, went to bed and that's it, that's all. And I wanted to say that I wanna do a giveaway in this video. So if you're entering the giveaway, leave a heart down below like a little heart emoji, doesn't matter what color, doesn't matter what, just leave a heart down below in the comments. And yeah, that's it, just leave a little heart. And make sure you leave like some way for me to contact you because I, there have been a couple giveaway winners where I've tried to contact them, like tried to reach out on Instagram, tried to like comment back to them and they never responded. So <laughs> I wanna make sure to that people who are winning the giveaways are actually getting their stuff. So make sure you leave some way to um, contact you, like leave your IG handle or just make sure that you check back on the video. Probably whoever wins the giveaway on this video will probably be announced on like Saturday. So make sure you check back then. And also make sure that you like and subscribe. You have to be subscribed to the channel in order to enter the giveaway. And that's it, that's all. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next Vlogmas.